Good morning guys, we're here on day 22 of the 2K Club with Body Development. Uh, start off today, pretty pretty good start, got a good sleep in, I've uh, been getting quite a bit of work done. Uh, I, had a, I had a phone call uh, with um, a medical professional that I wanted to check some things for, and it's kind of one of those things where you think, oh, well, maybe I should look into this, and then when you actually get all the details, you're like, actually, maybe not, this, this probably isn't for me. Uh, so yeah, a little bit, a little bit down on that because it was something I'm, I, I generally, genuinely want some information about, but it's just, uh, I'm not going to go through all those steps, uh, that they're, they're asking. So that's, that's a door closed, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll be fine. So this week is rush week. I already got a text from my cousin who also trains at body development and was telling me that he, he had a really good session this morning. He trains in the mornings, I train in the evenings. So this week, the goal is to just push yourself as far as you can go and see what you come up with. And the first class for this week is Metcon Cards, which as you've seen in, in my previous videos is a really tough one where we're going to get um, each face of the card is going to have a different exercise associated with it. And the card drawn number will be the number of reps performed in between. Uh, there's going to be constant cardio, so it's almost like no stopping. And we're going to do that for about 30 to 45 minutes. I can't remember how long the class is, but it's... Last time we finished a whole deck of 52 cards, plus the two jokers, uh, at uh, two minutes to spare. Which, you know, was nice, but uh, at the same time I felt like I was going to die. So I'm going to be pushing myself uh, beyond that and seeing how we get on today. But, yeah, no, overall feeling good. I'm really hungry now. It's just hit 12 o'clock, so I'm going to get myself some food. I haven't actually purchased another carb source yet. I... It's kind of, I'm in a weird spot where, because I picked up some stuff over the weekend and I've got chicken thighs, uh, I, I've actually got quite a bit of food to be getting on with, so I haven't uh, gone to another store yet to to grab some stuff. But I am run, I've run out of uh, parsnips and I've also run out of uh, salad potatoes. So I'll probably swing by Sainsbury's and just pick up a bit of a carb source from there. Although, preferably, I'd like to go to get the potatoes from the fruit and veg market over in the town centre, but it's a little bit difficult. It takes up kind of my whole lunch break to go over and do that. And last time they skimmed me 200 grams of potatoes. So, you know, got to keep that in mind as well before I, before I run back there. So maybe just swing by Sainsbury's and grab, um, grab myself about two kilos worth of new potatoes if I can, and that will keep me going for a long time. They're cheap enough. It, it's the primary cost from all of this is coming from the meat. And then with chicken thighs, it's like, really low, really low for the amount of calories and getting in from that. And also protein. Uh, I also have to submit my checks on the body development group. Essentially, there's a Facebook group where everybody has to post their, their average calories in, average calories out, and the deficits over a week period. And it's sort of like an accountability group. If you don't post now, you get kicked out. So definitely keep on top of that. And other than that, yeah, we're going to sort out some food real soon, and you'll go, I'll show you guys what I'm eating. It'll be avocado and pork, so, so spoiler alert, and then some dark chocolate. And then this evening, when I find time, over after I've had lunch, I'll quickly pop around Sainsbury's, grab myself some a carb source, maybe some parsnips to have with the uh, chicken thighs that I'll be eating later. And tomorrow, or it's not, yeah, it's going to be around tomorrow, I'll find time to go out in the morning. And I'll go to a new location and pick up some more pick up some more meats that I can then use to see me through the week. So, catch you guys in a little bit when we have lunch. And guys, this is meal one for today. We have one pork chop, we have 160 grams of avocado and 19 grams of dark chocolate. I have a little bit less dark chocolate, don't want to open a new bar to get the 25, uh, so we can just eat a little bit more later. I need to pop out and get another carb source as well, so probably pick up potatoes, new potatoes or parsnips, depending on which. I have dropped down to one carb source per day. I'm going to sort of track and see how that keeps me going. That might be a little bit hard during rush week, but we'll see. If I start feeling low energy or my workouts start suffering, I'll immediately start putting the carbs up a little bit, back up to about 15, 16%, ideally 15% at maximum. So that's a quick overview of what we're going to be eating, and I'll catch you up for dinner a little bit later. And guys, this is meal two for today. We have 364 grams of chicken thighs, 
We have 334 grams of salad potatoes or baby potatoes and we have 27 grams of dark chocolate. It's just how it came out when I broke it out. I was aiming for 25 but in total this meal is like 1236 calories and brings us up to about 2150 for the day. Thereabouts close enough which is going to be then in the acceptable range after we consider our burn because today is going to be a tough workout that we should be close to that 500 deficit. We'll probably be a bit over that, um, depending on how hard the deck decides to uh, mess with the class. But I'll check in with you guys a little bit later after class and let you know how we go on. Hey, good evening, guys. We're at the end of day 22. Yeah, it's Monday. So day, yeah, day 22 of the 2K Border Development Challenge. It's just after midnight, so technically end day 23, but I'm also knackered. So I just wanted to do a quick summary of today and then we'll catch up again tomorrow. But our total calories in today was 2,062. Our total calories out was 2,757, giving us a deficit of 695, about 195 higher than what we were targeting. So some, maybe just a little bit more, but today is a bit of a tougher workout uh, than the other days. Like Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays are generally a little bit lower paced because they're more focused on weight, whereas Wednesdays and Mondays are super intense. Uh, cardio, the intention of getting your heart rate up. Actual fact, today I learned a little bit about uh, heart zones and essentially that's sort of your heart rate in terms of how tough the workout is. So zone one is kind of easy. Zone two is still also kind of just like a walking pace. Three is aerobic. Um, then four is, is pretty tough workout and five is like your absolute maximum. Um, for Metcon cards, uh, the PT mentioned that we should be aiming for about 80% of the workout in zones four or five. I actually hit 70% meaning I was uh, slacking in, in some parts, apparently. Uh, it's difficult. Like, uh, I start off, like, really strong and, like, picking up heavier weight. We actually put our weights up on our, our most of our exercises. It was our squat. Eventually, it started to break down. I couldn't keep tempo, so I had to put the weight down, uh, grab a smaller weight, and then when I couldn't keep up with that one, I had to grab the smaller one again. There's also the running in between. Like, I'm, I'm struggling to... that Because my whole body is like, like, just, like gasping for air so i know I'm, I'm pushing myself as far as i can but apparently i need to push myself 10 percent harder on that uh that particular challenge it's just something we'll keep working on uh all in all very successful day good calorie output and yeah uh gonna get some sleep get up do work go back to the uh go back to the gym tomorrow and rinse and repeat and we'll keep going and see when I actually think the scan will be this week. The, yeah, probably Monday, because I'm going to be away at the weekend. So again, we're going to get like a, a Sunday, a late Sunday, I kind of just do a wrap up of the whole weekend. But I'll see if I can get my scan in um, next Monday morning. So then I can do a direct comparison with what my original stats were versus what my updated uh, end of the month, end of the 2K January uh, section will look like. We're going to keep rolling that through. So even if... Uh, they carry on the 2k club anyway so as much as i keep saying the january 2k club it's that's just because it was what it was called when i joined it but essentially you can continue it and the idea is that i'll do that until i get down to uh 15 body fat we'll take a look at ourselves see what we're looking at see if we're getting closer to the ab look that we kind of want and if we haven't lost too much muscle mass then we'll keep going until we get that down to about 12 percent at that point we should be able to see our abs going into single digits seems awful to be honest, but that said, if I can just keep doing what I'm doing to get there, then I'm not going to struggle. I'm not feeling hungry at all, to be honest. If anything, I still have room to ramp up more cardio and stuff if I want to uh, get more of the burn. Anyway, it's late. It's time for bed. And I'm just rambling at this point. So guys, peace out and see you tomorrow for day 23. Hey, good morning, guys. We're here on day 23 of the Body Development 2K Club Challenge. Uh, this is going to be kind of a, I normally cut these into three sections, but I'm shooting this one a little bit later. I've been really busy with work this morning, so it's about half past one now, so we're about to eat our food. It's our first meal of the day. I am absolutely starving. I left it way too late to eat this. Sort of the last meal I ate was at uh, five yesterday, so we're looking at a, oh, what is that? That's a, close to a 20 hour, 20 hour fast, which is a bit too much. We're supposed to be going for 18. So I just need to get my shit together really on that. Um, my energy right now is super low. I can't really concentrate and I just desperately need some food.
Anyway, that said, uh, we should may as well show you some plate, what we're going to be eating. We are eating chicken thighs and potatoes. We got about 334 grams of uh, chicken thighs. We have about 250. We've reduced the amount of potatoes. We had about 300 yesterday, dropping that down to 200. And then we have 25 grams of absolute black chocolate. All in all, uh, by just over a thousand calories, I think. Uh, yeah, I've got about 800 left on what my fitness pals recommended, but I know I need to eat about 300 more than that. So we've got more chicken thighs for later. And we're going to have an avocado as well. And that should bring us all the way up. And then I've got to go out and go shopping uh, for some actual food for the rest of the week. So that's a quick little, quick little update of how we're starting the day. Uh, I'll show you the next meal that we're going to be eating. And then we'll do a wrap up for the day. Catch you guys in a bit. And this is meal two. We just have 136 grams of avocado and about 350 grams of chicken thighs. Pretty basic, no carb source added with this because we're trying to keep our carbs down. Uh, this actually puts us five grams over our daily carb target in total as a bit in the avocado. But overall, very, very close to that, uh, maintaining around 10% of intake from carbs. Our protein goal is a little bit low today. Uh, we're at 150 grams. We're trying to aim for about 160 grams. Uh, they're about, so I can do the math a bit later because I need to get ready for, I need to eat this and then head over to body development from this evening's class. But all in all, pretty successful day. Uh, we used the rest of the stuff in the fridge. So this gives us an excuse to go out tomorrow morning and try out uh, a different location for food and try and get a good, a good deal essentially per calorie. Hey guys, we're here at the end of day 20, what was it? Tuesday, so that'll be 23, yeah, day 23 of the 2K challenge for body development. So workout was pretty tough today. Uh, it was pushing uh, pushing myself as far as I could go. The problem I had is I tried putting the weights up and couldn't keep pace with those weights. So I had to keep, I had to keep adjusting them down. Uh, I got rec it was recommended that I don't worry about the weights for now and just focus on what I can lift and keep in form and keep in pace with the with the rest of the class. So we tried to get a little bit overconfident and didn't pay off. So that wasn't too great. Uh, I also, I've not really moved around too much today. I literally just did that workout and then came home. I didn't even walk to the gym. It's too cold. It was like two degrees and I was just like, oh, I'll just drive. And really like the, the walk over there to walk back is just worth the extra calories. I need to make sure I get out and get that in. Otherwise I end up uh, overeating a little bit like I need to if I don't working out as much I need to really reduce how much I'm actually eating so uh sorry for the shaky camera it's pretty late here and I'm just uh, decided I was just gonna get straight into bed and then I remembered I have to shoot this and give you guys an update on what we're doing so today we ate 2070 calories and we burned off 2436 giving us a deficit of 366 which is below the 500 target so it's not too far below that it's not horrible that we won't catch up it is just worth noting that i just have to make sure i'm getting those steps in we're going to be looking at about 10,000 steps um in order to uh, for, per day to I'm trying to aim for it just to sort of get those calories up so to get the overall average up so interestingly i i learned we learned about zones yesterday of heart rates um making using that as a measure of how hard you're working on workouts the issue is is if you leave your watch running afterwards to catch the afterburn calories it will put a lot of your workout effort into resting so it won't actually look like you've burned you've not put in that harder workout like in terms of percentages and zones so you kind of have to end the workout immediately if you want to see what your zones are and how efficient your workouts are but you know it's i guess maybe that's more important data is like how hard you're pushing yourself versus how much the estimated burn is because i'm kind of getting a good feel for that at, at this stage so it's just something to try out and uh, see what the impact is on the scale our target is 72.8 kilos by sunday and then we've got our our scan on monday uh, so I'll pop in Monday morning, get that scan going, and uh, fingers crossed we'll see what percentage of body fat we still have. And then we can make a calculation on uh, how long roughly we think it's going to take us to get to our to get to our goal. But that's all for me today. Uh, so I hope you guys have a good one, and we'll catch up tomorrow for day 24. 
So peace out and see you again soon. Hey guys, it's today we went out, uh, we went to Lidl, I actually grabbed some supplies. They were out of chicken thighs, which is just a shame because I've been caught out with that twice now. Um, so instead of that, I got some chicken legs to sort of make it up. Uh, the price was roughly around the same, but in terms of what you're getting for calories to pound, a little bit less on that value. So we're just going to have to make do. We got uh, two kilograms of that and I'm actually going away this weekend. So it's going to be, essentially I'm going to be eating for three days. What is it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. And then uh, I'll be gone at that point. And of course I'll do the same thing as I did uh, previously while I was away over the weekend. I'll just, I'll get some shots of the food that I eat while I'm out and I'll just wrap it up on the, on the Sunday when I get back. But all in all, my shopping bill was actually 10 pounds something. So like 10.50 and we picked up a kilo of pork belly. Uh, that's very, very calorie dense for the price. It's quite high on the fat. It's only like 250 grams of it is only uh, 55 grams of protein for your daily calculation. Actually running the numbers, I need to eat about 153 grams of protein a day for what I'm trying to do to maintain muscle mass. I am actually hitting that target uh, with what I've got at the moment. So we're, we're pretty good on that. One of the things that was brought up in class a few days ago actually is that a lot of people are very scared of fats uh, when eating. And quite honestly, they they shouldn't be. I mean, the biggest, uh, I think the biggest con ever was uh, when the sugar companies made everybody believe that fats was bad for you and not sugar, well, processed and refined sugars. So it's like the majority of my diet is now actually coming from fat sources. Like my totals is usually set to about 60% in, in fat. And the weight, truthfully, has been falling off. Uh, it's... Carbohydrates have been dropped down. I'm eating around 10% of those. Apparently to be considered in ketosis, you need to be under 50 grams of, of carbs a day. We could technically cut a few few more, but it's uh, it's so close. I can't really see the point stretching it. It's already starting to get to that point where I'm trying to maximize the amount of calories coming in from non-carbohydrate sources, whilst also reducing the amount I need to spend on on meats that's going to push it right up but it seems like the actual fatty foods like the pork um uh, the chicken thighs which are really really cheap in supermarkets are in actual fact the best thing for me through through this whole thing it's actually been crazy uh the the results that I'm seeing I like I got out of the shower and I was just walking past and saw in the mirror and I could start seeing my obliques starting to starting to show a bit Obviously, it's not like there a hundred percent yet, but it's just like just being able to sort of see that, and you just spot it, and you can see the changes happening in your body. It's really, really positive. So overall, I'm in a good mood. Uh, admittedly, around ten o'clock is when I started getting my hunger pains, and I was struggling uh, a little bit. But that phase kind of passed. It took about thirty minutes, and my body started to then just get on with it. Uh, my concentration's actually been great this morning. I've been able to get quite a lot done, and. I've got meetings this afternoon, so that will be interesting to make sure that I can focus. One of the problems I do have is when dealing with technical people in meetings, is struggling to focus when I don't understand what's being said, or rather, it's something that I don't need to really understand. It's just I need a general overview of how how it works. But it's then trying to stay concentrated in, in that situation uh, and present and not let your mind wander. And that's something I'm... I've, I've got I've got a bit of a problem with so at one point I actually had an elastic band on my wrist which I'd just uh, ping every time I was in a meeting I started to lose focus so I'd just ping the band to stop my mind wandering but you know that's maybe we have a little bit of uh, undiagnosed AD, uh, ADD or something but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that we're not gonna let it hold us back we're just gonna get on and do what we need to do lunch will be ready in about 25 minutes so I will show you exactly what we're eating and I'll give you a breakdown at the end of the day. I'll show you meal two. We have Wednesday fit is our workout today. So fit during uh, rush week. So gonna go really hard on that one. Try and keep the rep ranges and try and not drop down to uh, weaker versions of the exercises for as long as possible. It'd be five, five circuits. And usually when I get to about circuit four or yeah, around circuit four, then I kind of have to start like 
adjusting uh, what kind of exercise I'm doing, like the push-ups on the frame. Uh, those generally go down to kneeling push-ups by by sort of like the end of the session. My squats are no longer at one one pace or one down, one up, one down, one up. It's not it kind of then goes like two down, one up, two down, one up. It sort of slows down. Uh, my dips, uh, then you start needing to use your feet on the floor just a little bit of support. You have this frame and essentially you dip down, you dip up very slowly. So you're looking about six reps in the 30 second, 40 second work range, I think it is. And then, yeah, 40 seconds. And then you lift your knees up and then you can straighten your legs out if you're if you're really good at the exercise. So you get a bit of, uh, bit of abs in there as well. And that's... It's going to be interesting. I'm going to give it a fair try. I'm not going to go too heavy on the weights for squats. I have tried to push my weights up a little bit, and that was kind of a little bit of a disaster last night. It, well, I wouldn't say a disaster. It just, I ended up halfway, like after a few reps, realizing actually this weight is not, I'm not going to be able to maintain form using this weight. So then I have to put it down, and I'm losing some reps in the, in the middle of the set whilst trying to sort that out. So... We don't want to be in that situation again, so we'll probably just grab our goblet squats using a kettlebell of 12 kilos. It's quite light. You're supposed to be squatting around 25% of your body weight, and that's that's under technically under. Well, it's not technically. It's math. It's under what I should be doing. But in order to keep the rep ranges and the pace that's required, doing heavier is just not going to help. It's like when you've got like all the time in the world to do a regular squat when you're in the gym on a squat rack. It, it feels a little bit easier in a sense and using a lighter weight and really trying to push yourself and get that heart rate up. Anyway, I'm sure I'll have a lot more to say about that later today. So let's catch you guys in a bit with lunch. This is meal one for day 24. We have 251 grams of potatoes. We have 250 grams of pork belly and we have 27 grams of dark chocolate. That would be 25, but of course, trying to break off exactly 25 um, was proven to be a real pain in the ass, so we're getting 27. All in all, this is 983 calories. Really looking forward to tucking into this. And yeah, getting back to work. Lots to do today. But this will this will keep me feeling nice and full right up until this evening when we'll have our meal before we go do fit. Anyway, catch you guys in a bit. And guys, this is meal two for the day. We have... 110 grams of avocado, about 620 grams of chicken legs, and 25 grams of dark chocolate. All in all, our total calorie comes up today to about 2,050, and our macros are bang on. We are about 54 grams, of, no, 51 grams of carbohydrates, which is about what you need for keto, apparently. So 50 grams, definitely great. On that side, our protein is about 163, and... Our fats, well, they're about 138 or something, but we're not too worried about that as long as the results are working. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to get ready for fit a little later. Hey guys, it's that time again for a day 24 wrap up of the 2K Club at Body Development. I'm very knackered right now. It's been a very active day. We had fit earlier, which is one of the, in my opinion, one of the toughest exercises that Body Development offer uh, that I've that I've taken part in. That, Apparently, uh, calcenic, calcenics, uh, is much hard, is also very very difficult, and so is boxing. But I think I've said all that before in previous videos. Oh, it's been a really good day. I say I was really happy. Uh, my calories were on point. Uh, the macros they were lined up. Uh, my carb sources were down to fifty one grams, targeting fifty. It was everything was going good. Uh, we actually overburned calories. We were too active today. Uh, our actual numbers for reference is we ate 2,075, perfect. Uh, we burned 3,521, giving us a deficit of 1,446. Oof. Uh, that's almost three days worth of deficit in today. Now, I did do some walking today as well, uh, which has definitely also added up on the, the calories. I also tried something a little bit different with the tracking. So essentially... You, you get like an epoch was how it was explained to me that you after a workout that you're still burning calories from your heart rate as it comes down and that level of movement so uh just as you move around and stuff so generally leave the watch running for about an hour after the workout but the problem with that is that then if you want to check to see what your 
performance level was at based on your heart rate uh you can't it will look like you did everything in in zone one which is like low easy going not really aerobic at all so the trick for that is what you do is you end the exercise on the watch then immediately start a new cardio uh tracking on your watch and then just let that run for an hour after the class and then you stop that and then you essentially get your epoch afterwards and you also get an accurate measurement of your heart readings during the during the actual class so during the class the target is to be mostly in zone five for for this one but my heart rate was mostly it did hit zone five a few times but most of my the highest percent was in zone three which is aerobic and the reason for this possibly and something that i need to work on is i'm focusing so much on speed to get as many reps in as possible as opposed to applying tension so that would be a sense of like figuring like feeling the muscle and just really feel like pulling yourself like when you're doing the rows where you're on like a frame and essentially it's like a pull up where you pull your chest up hold it and then you come down rather than trying to focus on bashing out 15 reps which is my target i should be focusing more on applying tension to the muscles uh, during fit and just see how that has an impact on it because I was getting to like uh, circuit five and I'm huffing and puffing and I'm really struggling and then my reps are suffer suffering as a result. And I'm pushing myself and I'm thinking, yeah, you know, this is giving myself a really tough workout. But apparently that's only put me in zone three and I'm not applying enough tension to, to the muscles. And that's ultimately what we want is to make sure that we're getting our form and our pacing right and actually feeling the, the tension. Uh, one of the things that's really good we do in upper body strength which is generally uh, on Fridays is the arm class we have one of these curls where you go 20 seconds up and then you hold it and then you come back down for 20 seconds and the idea is that you are constantly straining uh, press pulling against mud essentially they say I'm pulling through mud and that's what you're going for as opposed to just you know, flicking them up in that and I need to do more of that uh, I think I need to do a bit more of like focusing on those, those tension points and just working with that. And maybe even if it comes a detriment of pace, making sure that I actually feel those tensions in those muscles and get used to it. And then we can just speed it up. Uh, maybe that'll help us. I think we can give a, give a try and see what happens, but all in all was a very successful day in terms of macros and calories and stuff. We were just a bit too, too active, which is a weird thing to say. Uh, I could just like, take it super easy, just eat whatever I want over the weekend. I've essentially added like a bunch of extra on, uh, because again, I don't really want to be in this big of a deficit, uh, because I, there's a risk of uh, burning muscle and then you just be, then you'll end up looking skinny when you get your six pack and you don't really want, I don't really want that. So it's that, it's that careful balance and 1500 over is too much. Way too much. That means if I was bulking today, right, I would, probably yeah i'd need to eat like four thousand calories for today to be uh considered a success which means everything that i ate twice in two meals doesn't seem feasible right i didn't yeah it's just again you're not gonna have, i'm not gonna have a day like this every day where you i, I just have to keep in mind how much walking is actually adding on to onto my bones as well but anyway that's a wrap up for today we're going to be back tomorrow with day 25 uh, we have two more days of training sorry i have two more days of training this week why am i apologizing to you people you people don't care i don't care so we've got two more days of training this week and then the weekend and we have a wrap up and then i'll get a scan monday morning which uh, i'm really excited about because we'll we'll see exactly what percentage of body fat we've dropped what our muscle difference is compared to, to before and how our hydration levels are up oh yeah something to, to bring up I, i've actually been feeling a little bit lightheaded uh after the training session and i don't know if that's just because of them but when i stand up like a little bit too fast i'm feeling it um there's a possible there's two possible reasons for this one is because i've reduced my carbs so much that i don't have enough glycerin in my blood that's one possible option the other option is that I'm drinking so much water that I'm flushing out all the sodium and that's causing me to be dizzy. Uh, so the way to counteract that is to drink a small glass of uh, salt water. Like not obviously not like a glass of 
seawater or something disgusting, but just pouring a bit of salt into some water into one of the cups just to sort of replenish those sodium levels uh, while we're doing that. So I might give that a try. It's going to be a bit gross, but I'll see if that helps because I am a little bit concerned about if you get like lightheaded or anything like that, if you're driving, just a fear of like what happens if you were driving and that sort of happened. Uh, I, like I've not fallen over or anything, it's just kind of, you know, when you get that, whoa, like, I wouldn't even say it's like being drunk because that's way, way more intense than what this was, but it's still like kind of like noticeable that like, something's not quite right. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We're going to try adding some salt to one of our cups of water each day. We've been, we've been bang on with our hydration a lot. I've also not running to the toilet every two minutes now. I think my body's kind of getting used to it. It's just, uh, we'll, we'll try adding a bit more salt. If I'm still getting a bit lightheaded, then we can probably assume that it's because we're depriving our body of carbs. Um, depending on how severe this gets, I'll, I'll have to make some changes. But over, at the moment, it's not severe enough that I need to worry. We'll just add some salt water and we'll see how we get on. All right, guys, peace out and see you tomorrow. Guys, good morning, or good afternoon, actually, when I consider the time. Uh, we're going to be going on a lot longer than January and trying to get to our fitness goals in time for spring and summer. But uh, I just want to give a quick update on how I started off the day. So I woke up extremely hungry this morning. I was at a 1500 calorie deficit, which is a lot more than the 500 that we're targeting normally. So that was already a bit of a problem. And then Coming up to lunch, I had meetings and then that's sort of like my fast time that I usually aim for has been pushed back. So we're going to be eating a little bit later. It's nearly, I think it's just one o'clock now, actually, I can just check. Yeah, it's just close enough to one o'clock. And that means that we're kind of then moving up to like 21 hour fast by the time we start eating our food for this afternoon. And that's not kind of the place that you want to be uh, when, when you're trying to concentrate and stuff. But... Other than that, uh, I had a meeting before work and it was a little bit difficult to focus. Um, that is uh, something I, I, I just need to plan a little bit better around, to be honest. Like, uh, I could have, te well, the meeting was at 12 and it went around for about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, I could have already had my oven preheated during that meeting. It's like, well, I guess there's always a catch of like the energy bills have all gone up at the moment. So, yeah, this is from the UK. Everything's gone expensive, Brexit, everything else, you know. We're not going to worry too much about politics here, but long story short, I could have had the oven on. I could have already had the potatoes boiled and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be waiting so long for, for food. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be diving into that from the workout yesterday was, was really intense. I'm not really feeling too sore, but like I could, I could definitely feel the lack of energy right now. So that's probably a complete wipeout of uh, the glycerin that was in my system. And I'm hoping it doesn't have a run-on effect and affect my workout today. So goals for today is to try and do the same as we did yesterday. Get our protein. Our protein was on point, uh, 160 something grams that we had yesterday. Our target is about 157. If you do a cal an online calculator, which says use this much to this much, so that's good. Our carbs was 51 grams, which is close close enough for keto. They say oh, 50 grams is the limit. I don't know if that's rubbish, but we'll at the moment it's working, and we're going to keep uh, keep going with that stuff and yeah not really much else to to report it, it's kind of it's kind of weird because like what all of the advice that you get online for fitness and stuff can be completely conflicting and i guess it all kind of comes down to your body and just trying stuff and seeing what works and then iterating on that like i'm doing all this stuff and you'll have, essentially have a roadmap when i get to the end of it uh, about well we'll know for sure whether it worked or not or whether or not all of the stuff that I read was rubbish and we've actually not ended up in the situation we want to. Or I'll have the I'll have the results that I want and then you've got a complete roadmap of how I got there, everything I ate, uh, the days I worked, what my moods were like and what it was like actually going on this journey. But overall, so far, it's been really easy, I think is the word, to stick to the diet. Like after you start seeing the results, I've not felt the need to run out and drink a load of beer with my friends. I've not, I still go out, I still go to the bar, I get soda water. I've not felt the need to have like fried foods again or sweets. The chocolate is kind of like helping with, uh, we're pushing that off. Of course, I'm eating 100% dark chocolate. So it's just, 
mud, essentially. That's what I kind of what it tastes like a little bit, but the cocoa... Uh, but yeah, I've not really felt like the need, like I'm missing something in, in my in my life, in my diet. Like I've not had like real cravings for for rubbish food. And that feels, that feels really good. And I've not, I've, I've not had any trouble with uh, digestion or feeling bloated or uncomfortable. Like I've felt the best I've felt for years. Like my sense of smell has started to even come back because for years I don't have a very strong sense of smell, which I've talked about in a, in a previous video. But yeah, so far I've been getting a lot of health benefits. I, the number on the scale is coming down. The visual in the mirror is looking better and better. The scan on uh, Monday is going to be the big one to tell me whether or not I have liquidated muscle mass. And in which case then we need to, I say we, you guys are just going to be watching. So I need to then readjust my diet and make sure that uh, my calorie drops are at 500 and not doing silly things like yesterday. Where I could have definitely, where actually what would have been crazy, I was like, yeah, I'm on a cut and I ate 3000 calories in a day. So not sure the number is 100% accurate, but... Uh, it, time will tell, the scale and the body scan will tell us what we need and we'll just go from there. Alright guys, I'm gonna get back to my day but I'll check in with you once we've got food sorted. So, see you then. Alright guys, we've got 950 calories right here with pork belly slices, 250 grams, 251 grams of new potatoes and 26 grams of dark chocolate. Pretty much in line with what we've been eating every day. Obviously I'm buying it in like bulk essentially just well i wouldn't say bulk but just grabbing like a bunch of pork slices and chucking that into my shopping basket potatoes we still have like an entire kilo of them left at this rate each one each bag will last four days and that said that four days for 1.60 is not bad and the meats are so cheap chicken thighs and and pork in general is just so much cheaper than steak or anything else price per calorie so that's great and then the chocolate the chocolate is about 180 for 90 grams so that's that adds a little bit to the price but it gives you a little bit of flavor and it adds some calories in that i don't have to like chew relentlessly all right guys i'm salivating like mad and i really need to eat this so i'll catch up with you with meal number two for today and this is meal two for day 25 we have 650 grams of chicken leg not my favorite but the thighs were out of uh out of stock in little so we just got these instead we have 120 grams of avocado. This is a little not quite ripe enough, so I just had to fight to get it out of the skin, which is always a pain, but it will do for now. And 26 grams of dark chocolate. Well, in all, this brings us up to just over 2,000 calories, around 2,050. We've been taking it easy. We haven't gone for a walk today. Uh, we've got to get to the gym in about 40 minutes. So we're going to eat this and then get ready for our workout. And I'll catch up with you guys for the wrap up. Hey guys, welcome back to day 25 of the. 2k club for body development so i'm doing my wrap up a little bit earlier today than i usually do because i've got my brother coming around and we're going to hang out and the last thing i need to do is like interrupt to clear the space so i can get the couch free and shoot a video but we just finished our session a session session yeah we just finished our session sorry i'm a little bit out of breath as you can tell and the words are struggling to come out uh, we tracked our heart zones on that last one and most of our workout was done in zone five which is very very intense it definitely seemed to work focusing on applying tension to the muscle, pushing up through mud, pushing, pulling down through mud on all the exercises and trying to not so much keep the pace that was being said, which was like go down, down over one, up over one. So your squat would be one, 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 one kind of pace. Rather than doing that, trying to just focus on really pulling those knees out and squatting into it's deep and, and pushing back up and then coming back down, just keeping that pace or well, keeping a pace that was working for me where I could keep the tension. And overall, like, it was a really tough workout. Uh, it, it really pushed and challenged myself to, uh, to to perform that. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, overall, my weights and that were pretty good in push week. We, sorry, rush week. Push week, rush week is the same thing. We we did really well. We being me, because you guys are sat at home. I'm going to I'm gonna stop saying we sooner or later in these videos. Uh, you'll find that I just switched to me. There is only me in, in this situation. So today, uh, the calorie is not going to be 100% accurate because we still got about, what's that, five hours left until the end of the day? Sorry, no, it's not. Yeah, five hours. So our total calories in was 2,046. Our total calories out to this time is 2,314, which gives us a deficit of 268. 
We can anticipate that we're going to burn about 100 an hour while we're at home, so that's going to bring us up to about 700. Of course, I can I will uh, correct that uh, when I get to when I get to the end of the day, and I'll do a proper analysis when we get to the end of the week, so that we get all the accurate figures for it. But all in all, uh, feeling very good about things. I'm really looking forward to the scan on Monday. That's going to be huge. Uh, I'm not going to blow it over the weekend. It's uh, I'm I'm pretty much the diet is on point at this stage. I just need to keep an eye on if I'm feeling any more dizzy or anything. We're just going to keep adding a little pinch of salt to water, just to sort of just make sure that we're uh, keeping some sodium in there with the amount of water that we're drinking. And we may need to put the carbs up. Actually, my PT said my carbs was incredibly low. He was saying that you should aim for about twenty percent, and I'm working closer to about ten. So. We're gonna we're gonna keep it at ten for the minute, but if I still feel a little bit lightheaded, we're gonna put that back up to fifteen, and we're not gonna feel bad about it. And then if we're still feeling a little bit sluggish, we're gonna put that up to twenty. But at the moment, we're kind of hovering in an area that's uh, pretty good. And again, the sources of carbohydrates we're getting is either from parsnips or or uh, just potatoes. Um, we're not eating anything else uh, that's that's gonna be adding carbs. Out. Okay, there's some carbs in the chocolate and the avocado, but not not much. But all in all, good day, uh, day 26, last day of training before the uh, final scan for month one, and then we'll roll into month two on our way to the chatbot. So really excited to share that with you. We can go over my first scan, go over the figures, and then we'll go, uh, I'll compare that to the second scan. Hopefully I can get a little bit of information because uh, usually the PTs are pretty good at explaining the like water levels and stuff like that to keep in mind like some of the numbers will be swaying based on how much water is in your system but uh we'll get all that information over to you guys on monday so look out for my next video on for day 26 and i'll see you then hey good morning guys today how am i feeling woke up a bit earlier than usual i went to bed about 12 and then at midnight and which is a bit late again but I woke up around seven and I was like full of energy I couldn't go back to sleep so I got up and went uh, just started uh, going about my day that might be part of the carb reduction uh, that is causing me a little bit of sleep trouble it's something I could definitely do with putting some more carbs back into my system uh, instead of the current amount that I have which is around 50 grams a day or around 10% of what I'm allocating for my total uh, calorie allowance so something to keep in mind but other than that I've been feeling great uh, I started to get the hunger pangs around uh, half 11 you know just like it takes about 30 minutes and then they pass but they're kind of like during that time it's very difficult for me to concentrate and get going but other than that it's been it's been fine today's been pretty great I'm traveling away this weekend so uh, I'll just do the photos of the food I ate while I was away, and then I will put that into a big review on Sunday. Our scan is on Monday, so we'll have our data and we can compare from the beginning of the month to the end of the month exactly how we did in the 2K January section of this challenge. And today is the last workout I'm going to do before I get that scan. Uh, so it's going to be upper weights, so it's primarily focusing on arms. Last time was absolutely killer, but definitely worth it really good for a good little pump as well and you it's generally feels really good because it's actually spending much more time focusing on the the tensions and actually recruiting the right muscles for the exercises which as i saw by my heart zones yesterday made a, made a hell of a difference compared to just trying to keep the pace of like curling curling is like actually if you lock your elbows back and you're pulling and you're just feeling that tension in the bicep and then you're coming back down uh, and then as you do that you pull back down and then you're flexing the tricep and when you get to the bottom of course you're flexing the tricep again the the heart readings are going much much higher and it's making the workouts a lot more difficult so it's something for me to keep in mind for a way to upgrade and make more progress i stepped on the scale today and uh i'm feeling pretty good uh we haven't hit our target yet but I, by Sunday, I'm pretty confident uh, we're, we're going to be in a good position. We being me again, because you guys are sat at home, hopefully not eating lots of cake. Or if you are, you can see what happens when you stop eating cake. For a little while, for a little while. You still have to, you still have to live your life and enjoy things. Uh, this is actually going to be the fourth week without alcohol as well. 
feeling great. No trouble at all. A lot of my problem, like I have like, as I mentioned before, I've like had acne on my shoulders, back. I don't really get it on my face anymore, I'm past that point, but like, and chest. They've gone down significantly. I still like had the odd spot in that come up on my chest, but I can't tell if that's just because I shave my chest and it's something to do with my razors or soap. But um, past, uh, past week, nothing. It's uh, looking all nice and smooth, ready for those progress photos it will take on Monday morning. All right, guys, food is going to be ready in just a few minutes, so I'm going to dish that up and I'll show you exactly what we're eating. No surprises, it's going to be the same thing we ate for the rest of the week. But just for, for records, you'll be good to see it. Catch you in a second. And guys, as promised, here is meal one for today. So we have 254 grams of pork belly, 252 grams of potatoes, and 26 grams of absolute dark chocolate. All in all, comes out just over 900 calories, and probably about half of what we're going to eat for the whole of the day. And this is our full carb allowance, not counting what we're going to pick up from a little bit more dark chocolate a little bit later, and also some avocado, the last avocado that I have. All in all, very good meal, very filling, good on the macros, and yeah, not much more to say that hasn't been said the past week. So I'm going to tuck into this and catch you guys later for meal two. Okay guys, this is meal two for today. So, bit of a disaster. The avocado that I had for today had gone really bad. When I cut it open, it was moldy inside. So that was really gross. Throwing that out and I don't have a replacement for it and I don't have the time to prepare any carbs. So, as a result, we've got 550 grams of chicken legs. I don't like this. I won't be getting it again. I literally got it because it was a cheap option next to chicken thighs when chicken thighs were out of stock in little. And we've got 50 grams of chocolate. Now, five grams of that is from the Absolute Dark, so 100% uh, dark chocolate, because that's what was left of the bar. And because I'm going to need a little bit more energy for the rest of my day, I actually put down 44 grams of, 44, 45 grams of 90% dark chocolate, which has a tiny bit of sugar in there just to give me a little bit of energy, hopefully, when we get there. We've got to work out in about an hour. So we need to eat this and then we need to be ready to go and I'm not gonna lie because of the lack of that avocado I am a little bit worried about this but yeah we'll do what we did we do what we can and I'll be back in touch soon hey guys welcome to a day what's that now 21 26 day 26 wrap up of the 2k club for body development in January so today was the last training session uh, that I'm going to be doing before the scan, uh, before we get to the end of the month and get to see what our results are. I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly what changes in my body has happened. I can see it in the mirror. I've seen it on the scale. I want to see how much of that I've lost is muscle mass versus how much I've lost body fat. At the start of this, we were about 23% body fat and we were 79.1 kilos. Or we can say 77 if we consider the fact that we did the scan at the end of the day. We're a lot lower than that now, so we're, we're way past the two kilos, regardless of how I measure it. So I'm going to be excited to see how that plays out. And we can go over the results in detail, and then I can make changes for February and going into March. So uh, today we were doing uh, upper body strength, and we're just focusing a lot on tension. I managed to get it right so my heart was in the right ranges for, for that class, so I'm definitely focusing on tension and feeling them in the right muscles. Problem I had is uh, on the shoulder press, I grabbed the blue weight, which is the blue kettlebells, which are 12 kilos, which isn't a lot if you've done overhead press or something with a proper barbell, um, where you're doing like 60 overhead or something. And then trying to keep the rep ranges and the tension uh, it was a little actually a little too heavy for me to to do that when I'm trying to focus on all the tension points, making that mind muscle connection. And throughout the reps, I got to the last set, and I'm trying to match the number of reps I did on my right. On my right, I got like 15 in 40 seconds, 30 seconds or 40 seconds, I can't remember. And then on the other side, I got to about 14, and I'm trying to force the other one up. So you get to that sticking point where it's just like you you want it to go up. You're telling your body to push, but you just can't quite get it. So I, my my body compensated. I tipped and I pushed it a little bit more. I felt that strain in my uh, lower back on the right, and then I sort of put the weight down. I was like, okay, no, 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 we're not messing about with that. That's the best way to get hurt is um, doing that. And technically, it was kind of ego lifting because I saw all the other guys grab uh, the 12 kilos. 
I thought I'd be fine with it, but um, since I've started really focusing on the tension, it's in actual fact really exhausting myself a lot faster than I originally thought. So while I technically can lift lift the weight, yeah, sure, one rep, two reps. You want me to do X number of reps? That's that's I could probably do it. But in terms of like keeping that tension and focusing, I'm finding it hard with twelve. So I should have grabbed the eight and I kind of let my ego talk myself out of that so ego lifting even when you've got a bit of experience when you've done some lifting for a few years sometimes it creeps in especially if like you sort of it's actually you feel a bit more social pressure in a class when there's more people around and you shouldn't let it because you're not competing against those other people you're competing against yourself really and who you were the day before the week before and any time that you grab a weight just because the rest of the class is doing it and then you end up doing that like that was just a glimpse that I could have really hurt my back and then I wouldn't have been able to train for a few weeks while I'm waiting for my back injury to heal and then I just lose out on like an entire month's worth of data. I'm going to be okay. The back is just like, it was a tiny bit of a strain. It was enough for me to go, actually, that's a mistake and I won't make it again. Uh, and that come, part of that comes with experience. Like I've, I've strained myself on some exercises before doing the leg press and I've strained uh, a hip flexor and like that took weeks and weeks to heal. I remember I was getting to about week six of my workout and it was still hurting every time I was trying to do squats. So don't advise that. Let's go over the stats for today because I'm about to head out and I'm going to be away this weekend. So the next update we'll do will be Sunday, but I'll also cover in the stats for, for Saturday. And then we'll do a big wrap up actually on Monday when I get the scan back. So that'll probably be the best day to, to go over it. So normally we, we do these on a Sunday, but I'll push it back a day just so we've got the scan. Total calories in, 1,909. Now, that is too low. The problem with that was that the avocado that I had went bad, and that's the only one I had because I was going away this weekend. I didn't buy more food. So, bad planning on my part. I know how long an avocado lasts. I should have went out yesterday and got one. So, that's on me. Total calories out at this point. It is currently uh, 8 o'clock, so probably about another 400 calories burned passively, just uh, work, walking around and stuff in my home. And that's 2,730 right now. So that's going to, that's going to we'll probably go up to like 3,100. So we're going to be in a massive deficit. We'll, we'll know for sure tomorrow, but yeah, our, our deficit is 600 and no, it's not. It's 821. I can't read my own handwriting sometimes. So that's already way too high. And when you consider the excess burn, it's going to be really bad. So our goal is to take it really easy over the weekend. Uh, we're, we've had a few days where we've been massively under on calories. So what I'll do over the weekend is probably not work out and then eat what I usually do. So I'll probably buy 2,200 and that will add on around 800 calories back that uh, I deprive myself of during the week. It's not going to be perfect, but at the same time, it is going to give us a little bit more, uh, put more back into the system because I really, 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 really don't want to be liquidating muscle. Uh, I, want, I need to limit that. So to do that, I need to get as close to a 500 deficit as possible. And it's actually interesting because when you go through uh, the two meals a day book, they actually say that counting calories is pointless and that ultimately it's it's way more complicated in terms of what you're burning, what you're putting in, what you're putting out. And a lot of it comes down to uh, how your heart rate's working, the types of food that you're eating and stuff like that. I'm generally finding that by combining it, even though the calories ultimately isn't the be all and end all, despite the fact that that seems to be like the focus of my videos, I think a lot of the results I've been seeing so far has definitely come from the way I've reduced carbs, reduced, sh removed sugar pretty much, and taken all the oils out and focusing on the protein and just really focusing on that carnivorous diet to the, the caveman Chad diet that I've been working with is, and I think that's been the biggest part of the reason. And also drinking lots more water, so I'm a lot more hydrated as well, uh, four and a, yeah, it's about four and a quarter liters that I'm drinking every day at this stage no wait that's not four and a quarter that's uh, four and a half liters per day yeah by four and a half liters a day maybe maybe four and a quarter if i'm being 100 percent honest um yeah so it's just a case of keeping at it and taking it easy over the weekend we get our scan on monday morning really really excited and i'll check in with you guys on sunday but i hope you guys have a great day uh, or great afternoon or great evening, depending on when you're watching this, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Hey everyone, so future Matt jumping in right now. So some of the footage actually from this week ended up getting corrupted, and 
When I got to the end of the week, I realized I was so exhausted I didn't do my breakdown of stats. However, for this series, I kind of want to keep it easier to sort of follow along. So I'm going to do my stats now. Uh, we'll share everything, jump in, and then you can carry on sort of see the full, uh, the full thing. So let's jump into that and then we'll get back to the, the regular content. So firstly, here's some progress photos. This is where I was at the end of week four, so day 28. Uh, making that progress, uh, constantly grinding. This is right before I took my scan, so I didn't actually know what my body composition looked like until uh, the day, well, Monday, the, which we will see in episode five when I go over all my scan and details. That said, the actual stats for the week is my total calories in was 1,955, my calories out was 2,816, and my deficit was 860, which was way over the target. The target was only 500, and I massively under eight, which was something that was kind of a bit of a problem running through the series, and that I was under eating. Uh, I was on a cut, so if you think, oh, I've got to eat less, and then I get to the end of the week and realize I've not eaten anywhere near enough food. My weigh-in uh, for that week came in at 72.8 kilograms, so the previous week before that was 73.8, three kilos. So we hit the target 0.5 uh, kilogram drop uh, in weight, which is the goal to lose half a kilo a week. Uh, so it was a very overall very successful week. Um, yeah, I was so tired by the end of it. You can really see it in the video when I look back at it. We'll jump back into that now. But now you guys have a bit of an idea of how this week actually ended. So you've got a little bit of uh, closure if you if you needed it. So I don't leave you guys hanging until the following week for any data. All right, guys, back to it. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog about the 2K Club challenge with body development. Um, yeah, we've got our, our scan tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I appreciate I haven't put up, uh, I haven't got any other footage from the weekend because I was away, but I'll just go through a little bit about what I, I did over the weekend. I was generally keeping it quite easy, not very active, just kind of doing lots of resting and mostly watching TV and stuff like that. Um, just kind of very sedentary activities. There was a little bit of walking involved, but not, not too much. Uh, we ate pork chops from Asda. We also ate chicken thighs and potatoes as our carb source with avocados and some dark chocolate, 90% dark, so I can't get 100% in Asda for some reason. Good value for money. The pork, unfortunately, is in Asda, like the pork chops, they kind of have bones like running through it, so chewing it in that was like, Kind of uncomfortable because occasionally you just bite into bone and that's just not good like compared to like sainsbury's the thick uh, cut or even go to the butchers and getting some thick cut like the, it was just such higher quality than what i got on asda that said for saturday sunday i ended up having to buy more food than i could possibly bring home with me i only spent about nine pound and that was i got the potatoes i brought them back with me i've got the well i ate the avocados ate the pork i ate uh, a chunk of the chicken thighs, the thing is, is you get them in one kilo bags and I didn't actually manage to, like, I wasn't going to eat uh, an entire kilo of chicken thighs over a weekend. We did, we did that once. It was, uh, it was bad. It was bad. But our Saturday numbers in was 21, 29 in, out 24, 21. Our total deficit, 292 calories. So not quite 500, but, uh... Yeah, not, not 500, so that's way under what we're targeting, but we were fine because we were in such a big deficit throughout the week, right? So uh, that wasn't too bad. Sunday, we ate 13.98. I'll explain that in just a second. We burned off 2,087, and our total deficit was 689. So I'm trying to stick within my fasting periods. Uh, as soon as I got back, I was hopping on to do some work stuff, and I missed my kind of fasting window, and in the end, I just like ate a little bit of chocolate or something for food, when really I should have been eating real real calories uh so that's not been good my weigh in this morning uh which is the important part was uh, 72.8 kilos so we hit our target yay me so next target will be 72.3 i want to see on the weigh in how that's sort of uh with the uh, body scan i'm going to see how much that's actually is muscle mass uh, and hydration and stuff like that so we can do a comparison scan and i'll do a big review tomorrow because i have to post on the 2k club uh the accountability thread um my overall stats and i'm a little bit too tired to go for it now one thing i have noticed is i think uh 50 grams of carbohydrates uh, which is about 
10% of my calorie target. It's not enough. I'm like I've been feeling really tired and I've been struggling and it, it makes me feel antisocial. Um, even even when I'm surrounded by people uh, who are being really pleasant to me, I just kind of like feel that kind of like lack of energy and struggling to concentrate. Um, my workouts, I don't think my workouts were as affected as much because I'm really motivated for that. But like I could definitely feel the dip in energy versus when I was like eating parsnips uh, for dinner with uh, chicken thighs and then having pork with uh, potatoes in the morning. So I'm probably going to double that. So we're going to end up going to go to, well, yeah, about 15, 20% on the carbs, I think is about, about right. We might lose the weight a bit slower. We'll see what the impact is on the numbers. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll make adjustments from there. But yeah, I'm, I don't, my body's not ready to just go down to, to that low number of carbs. It's just, I'm not functioning and I'm not functioning properly. And I don't want to just be like, when you're around other people and you just kind of like that kind of like no energy, very little in the interactions. And you want to try, but you just don't. You just don't have it in you. Like that's kind of how I felt. But yeah, all in all, very successful week. Incredibly successful month. Uh, the scan will tell all. So rather than go through what I think worked, what didn't work this month, uh, today I'll do that tomorrow after I get the scan. And we can do a big deep, deep dive. Things I'll be changing up for February, and ultimately you can use this as a checkpoint of what your results can look like after one month. And they've been incredible for me. Like, honestly, if you could be strict about it and you can make sure you keep the workouts in and you make sure you're tracking everything and you, you get the diet on point, you, you'll you see results. That's that's the key thing. All right, guys, so that's a quick wrap-up of the weekend. I will include the photos of what I ate uh, for accountability on the screen so you can see. I'll also flag them on captions exactly which meals they were. Um, so you can see and then i'll catch up with you tomorrow for the big day so 7 a.m which is less than eight hours from now Jeez. probably gonna be about eight o'clock the scan yeah it's gonna be eight hours i'll give me hours sleep uh, so i'm gonna get over to body development for about eight o'clock and we'll we'll get the scan in and then we'll have a bit of a discussion in the morning and then we'll probably do a big wrap up because i'll have to run to work and i've got a bunch of stuff to do anyway guys peace out see you tomorrow